Um, quick question for y'all. Does anyone like to golf? I don't even like, I mini golf, but any, this is Tyler, the creator for anyone that doesn't know. Um, it's not actually about the sport golf. But anyways, Space Jam themed canvases today. Space Jam is a classic movie, one of the favorites, one of the all time greats. And I've never been able to incorporate Space Jam into my work until now. I've been chatting with Rob Tanyan, who is a tight end for the Green Bay Packers, and he also loves Space Jam and wanted Space Jam themed canvases. But before we get too far into this video, I wanted to ask you a quick question. Now, for the past seven weeks, I've been posting two times a week on YouTube and I've been posting, you know, custom shoes, custom canvases, Q and A's, like whatever. Would you rather have that for another seven weeks or switch it to one video a week where it's more like clickbaity or like challenge or like broader appealing videos of like, I don't know, like I only painted a shoe with my left hand video or something like that. Um, doesn't really matter to me. It's more of like y'all's preference, but I'd be curious to hear your thoughts. But anyways, Going back to the canvases, I wanted to use uh, the colors of each of the Monstars. So there's blue, purple, green, orange, and red. And so those were the five colors I used for the canvases. I'm gonna leave you a little spray paint ASMR and I'll be back. So after spray painting was done, I kind of thought to myself, I kind of want to do a little bit more of experimentation with this canvas. Um, I do like a paint splatter effect with my shoes from time to time, but I've never done it with canvases. And I was thinking since this is going to be Space Jam themed and Rob wanted some outer space things incorporated within the canvas too, um, that maybe the paint splatter could represent stars and like the galaxy, some outer space stuff. Basically, I paint splattered contrasting colors on each of the colored sections. That means I used green splatter on the red parts, orange on the blue parts, blue on the orange, purple on the green, and then red on the purple sections. And I'm pretty pumped with how the splatter came out. It was good to try different things. I let these canvases dry overnight, and then the next day I attacked it with some doodles. And just like that, a couple minutes showcased my multiple days of work on these canvases. I put a lot of work into these canvases and there was actually a lot of stuff before I started filming and like a lot of planning out for this canvas, but then also off camera, 
I added a bunch of shadows to different sections to just give it more depth and like perspective and just to make it look cooler. And also some of the sections were a little bit too bland with just one color. So I went ahead and used black on top of my designs to give another cool effect, which I've never done before. But now I think I might start doing it more in the future. I also added Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and then the boss of the Monstars, Mr. Swackhammer. All in one, those are like three of the more prevalent characters within uh, Space Jam, the movie. And then there's obviously the, the main star of Space Jam, Michael Jordan, which I added. But as you can see, I only added half of Michael Jordan's face, and the other half is LeBron James, who will be uh, the star of Space Jam 2, whenever Space Jam 2 comes out. I'm not sure when that will be. Yeah, that's the whole canvas. I added shadows, added some other little details off camera, but for the most part you saw the whole canvas come to life and yeah, I'm stoked with how this came out and I'll be back with a new video shortly. Peace.